How's it going YouTube? This is Dave from Apple Unlimited. I'm very excited tonight. We get to do the third annual compatibility test between Pro Tools and Mac's newest OS, Mojave. All right, first things first, just so we're on the same page right now, uh, the newest version of Pro Tools is called 2018.4. And the dot four refers to uh, the month. And the newest, uh, operating system for Mac is Mojave. It's 10.14. Uh, this is the developer beta 1. Uh, different from the public beta. It's about three weeks earlier. Uh, it came out two days ago. Um, I have not tried it yet. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. Um, I do this year have a prediction for the first time ever. Um, I think it's going to work based upon nothing at all. Just um, I just have a good feeling that it will work tonight. Uh, so we'll see. Um, if it does work, we'll run some tests on it. I've not tried it yet. Um, I've not read anything about anyone trying it yet. This is the first time. Uh, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and see if it works. Opening it up. Um, normally when you open up Pro Tools, you have to have your license on an iLock, like a USB iLock. And Right now, my in is in the cloud. Okay, so this is good news. So instead of having the the iLock, you can use the cloud to unlock it wherever you are, which is cool. I do like that feature. And and we're in. It works. <laughs> um, so of course, the the first beta is nowhere near the final GM, uh, which is about three or four months away. Uh, a lot of things can change in that short period of time. Um, uh oh. Okay, so we are getting this uh, prompt, which we already knew, but optimized. Uh, of course, Pro Tools will release an optimized version at some point, uh, usually three or four months after it comes out, <laughs> um, if it passes any indication of the future. Um, but let's just try a. Uh, Let me open up a large session, or a medium session, um, just to test it. Bear with me a second. Um, what this one? Uh, I do work at a church, and um, this is going to be a church session, uh, just to try it out, to see if it works. Because, so just because Pro Tools is opening does not mean that it, that everything works on it. Um, so we're going to try it out and see what, see what does work, see if we can find any bugs. Um, this should be fun. <laughs> I'm also using ScreenFlow to record the screen right now, as well as run the session. Um, this is a 2012 MacBook Pro. It's pretty powerful, um, but with recording at the same time, it might lessen its power a little bit. Okay, cool. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like it's all here. Okay. Glorious. Uh, let's... Oh, I don't have my extra keyboard. <laughs> That's gonna be hard. I'm used to the uh, extended keyboard for the shortcuts. Uh, let me check the playback engine. I don't have a... <laughs> I don't have a uh, external interface hooked up to it right now, so it's just a virtual aggregate I am. It seems to be working perfect.
Huh. Um, I don't see anything wrong yet. This is pretty cool. Um, as you remember last year with High Sierra of the beta, uh, portals would not even open up at all. It just would crash right away. Um, so the fact that it works means that it will get um, fully optimized and official from Avid um, pretty quick, I'm guessing, after the release. What am I looking for? Um, Yep, yeah, nothing weird there. Let's uh, let's open up like a whole bunch of tracks. Let's open up 200 audio tracks. Um, <laughs> 89. Okay, I don't know how many I have right now. Let's add, let's add 89. See the load going up. Uh, I'll keep this over here just so we can keep an eye on it real fast. Uh, what else can I do? I can add. Um, I'm curious to see a few things myself right off the bat. Let me try this real quick. I want to add um, Ozone 8. Yep. That loaded. Cool. <laughs> Let's pick a random. Uh, Okay, cool. Um, so that loads. Um, what I found also is that um, Netflix and Hulu both work on Mojave, which is which is good because this is my main computer for watching TV as I fall asleep every night. And if it were to not work, I'd, I would have almost been shit out of luck. But I had faith that it would work, and it did, which is cool. Um, I don't know what else to try right now. <laughs> Look at all these tracks. <laughs> Ooh, I know what I could try. I could try, um, <laughs> so now, what did I add? 87? 88 tracks? 89, sorry. I added 89 tracks. Uh, let's see if I can record. Of course, I don't have my shortcut, so I gotta do it the weird way. Let's do it! It's recording 89 stereo tracks while playing back the song. Huh. Unbelievable. <laughs> there you have it. Um, of course I just have to say that if you use Pro Tools to make money, don't update your your main workstation until it's official. Uh, but as of right now, as of right now, it works, which is really cool. That's what we wanted to find out. Uh, I want to try one more thing while we're here. Um, and it's not Pro Tools. It is Final Cut Pro. If I close Pro Tools, that will get rid of the memory a little bit. Um, Final Cut Pro is my main editing program. Uh, this is 10, 10.4.1. Um, 
I have not tried this yet either. <laughs> With Mojave. Let's see. opens up too. Uh, I'm assuming that works pretty much for the most part uh, since it opened up. That's pretty cool. That's pretty good to know. Um, hmm. But aside from that, I've, I've played around with dark mode a little bit. Dark mode is really cool. Um, I have my stacks going right here, <laughs> um, which I do like. Um, cool. Well, there you have it. That is the compatibility test with Mojave 2018. Um, cool. Thanks for watching. This is Dave. We'll see you soon.